slightly askew theater ensemble batted 1,000 at its inaugural Afro-Ben Emerging Artists Festival. This showcase of original material included three works written and directed by women, all worth seeing. The Flowered was about the loss of virginity and the discovery of love. A voiceover recited a biblical passage about love and passing beyond childhood as the author of the play, Aaron Renee Roberts, walked down the aisle of the theater in a wedding dress by costume designer Elizabeth Henning. Under Sophie Powell's direction, Roberts projected the character's state of mind without words, but with deep feeling. Flowers were an essential part of the props designed by Rachel Tibbetts and Ellie Schwetti. In Life Ever After, Nicole Angeli captured the bewilderment of an aspiring novelist who found herself in purgatory after committing suicide. Her guide to the next phase of her existence is a petty bureaucrat for whom the assignment is hell. For the second time in recent months, Elizabeth Van Pelt played an underling in the afterlife. She is the master of mordant humor. Kate McAllister directed the clever script by Alyssa Ward. Artistic inspiration is portrayed as a divine gift in The Music of the Goddess by Shuli Cook. The play is an imaginative mixture of mythology, history, and fantasy. The Greek god of music, Apollo, gives up on violinist Clara Reisenberg, a real person, when her body fails her just before her debut. Deliverance for Clara comes from two divinities who are not among the Olympian gods, Electria and Glitch. They inspire Leon Theremin, another real person, to invent his eponymous electronic instrument, whose ethereal sign does not depend upon manual dexterity. Director Krista Ryan drew fine performances from Chris Ware as Apollo, Carolyn Celia as Electria, Lex Ronan as Clara, Michael Pierce as Glitch, and John Wolbers as Theremin. The lighting was by Ben Lewis, the sound by the directors, Griffin Trapp and Sean Binkley. What an auspicious debut this was for the Afro Ben Emerging Artists Festival. Yes, it was. It, and each play quite different from the others and presented in a minimal way, which was good. It kept them coming along. The scene changes were quick, but interesting pieces to see. I'm glad they did this. I hope it continues. So do I.